Hello, John Zerman from gdmathlessons.com. And what I want to do here is talk about solving equations. And this is a nice basic uh, equation problem that I want to go ahead and uh, discuss and solve. But it's one of many different type of equations that you're going to need to be able to solve for uh, the GED. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, first off, we have 10x minus 2 equals 7x plus 13. If you think you know how to do it, okay, or how to how to solve this equation, I would suggest that you pause the video and you know give yourself a minute or so to see if you can solve the equation. Now, when we talk about these terms, solving an equation, what are we what are we saying, okay? Well, what we're really looking for is what the valuable value of the variable is, okay? So here we have these variables and this fancy term variable all that means is um, a letter or a symbol that represents a number so in this case we have x okay and that's just representing some number there okay and when we write a variable next to a number like for example 10x what this means is 10 times some number X okay now I don't know what the number is so that's why we just hold a placeholder you if you probably remember way back in second grade or something like that you were doing problems like this it was like a box plus two equals five right so it was like a, a space or a box and you had to figure out you know you're sitting there thinking okay what do I have to stick in the box right in the box such that when I added add to that number to two I get five and you would think about it and you say oh that's gonna be three well this box was a symbol that represented a number. It's no different than the variable x. Okay, so when we're talking about solving equations, let me erase this here, what we're looking for is the value of the variable such that when we plug in whatever value that is, okay, and we simplify the left-hand side, we're gonna get some number. Okay, let's just make up a number. Let's say the number is uh, 21, okay? So when I plugged in x, whatever value I think the solution is, I get some number, it's, it's 21 on the left-hand side. Well, when I plug in that same value on the right-hand side, I better get the same number as well. 21 equals 21. Now, that's true, right? If I said, hey, does, does 2 equal 2? Well, of course it does. Now let me ask you another question. Does 2 equal 9? No, 2 doesn't equal 9. So this is this is not correct, right? This is true and this is false. So solutions to equations are numbers that create a uh, a true statement. Okay? So I'm kind of giving you some uh, overarching uh, knowledge about equations uh, before we get into the actual specifics on how to solve this this one here but that's what a solution to an equation represents so let's get into solving uh, this equation now when you solve uh, equations okay and these are what we call linear equations basically and, and this is not going to be a full course on it, I'm just going to talk about this particular uh, problem um, basically the idea is to get all the variable terms to the left so I'm going to just describe that as VAR variables all my X's if you will to the left and all my numbers to the right hand side of the equation alright so that's the first thing we want to do so let's start with the variables now to I have 7x over here I don't want 7x on the right hand side I want it on the left hand side so to move it over okay to move this over in algebra what we do if we want to move a a term or a number to one side of the equation or another, why we either subtract or add um, uh, something to itself. Here, I'll just show you what I mean. So in this case, I'm going to subtract 7x. So I'm taking it away to the right-hand side. I'm basically getting rid of it, right? So 7x plus a negative 7x or, or 7x minus 7x is just going to be zero, right? I'm subtracting it away. But the thing about uh, solving equations is here's the key, key rule that I want you to remember whatever I do to one side of the equation, in this case I'm subtracting the 7x, I have to do that exact same thing on the other side of the equation. So over here I gotta also subtract a 7x. So this technique or this concept of uh, doing or being equal in your treatment to the equation, whatever you do on one side you have to do to the other side, this is, this is the key concept in solving equations. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add down in a column manner. 
Okay, now if you haven't seen this uh, technique before of solving equations, you definitely want to go, let me just kind of scroll up here real quick, go and enroll in my free math course, gedmathlessons.com, Ex extremely comprehensive, totally aligns to the new GED uh, math requirements, and it's going <laughs> to teach you um, everything you need to know about equations, okay, so you really master them, but this is just an example problem. I'm just showing you how, what you would learn if you were in my, uh, basically taking my course or in another complete kind of like algebra course. So we're going to add down, so we have 10x plus or minus 7x, or, sub, or I'm going to subtract 7x from 10x's, okay? So if I have 10x minus 7x, I'm going to get a 3x. Now I'm going to add down, I have negative 2, or minus 2 here. I'm going to add it to nothing, there's nothing there, so I'm just going to bring that down. And I got my equal sign, I'll bring that down as well. And see, oh, I have the 7x minus the 7x, that goes away, right? Becomes 0. And then I'll just bring the 13 down as well. So what, I, what I've done, I'm kind of get rid of these uh, highlighter things here. What I've done with this first step is, is I moved all the variables to the left-hand side. So if you recall, the, the basic game plan here is I want the variables to the left and the numbers to the right. So here I got 3x minus 2 equals 13. Okay, this equation here and this equation here are the exact, um, they're equivalent, let's say, in algebra. Okay, I didn't uh, break the equation, I didn't do anything other than rewrite it in another form. Okay, but the form that I wrote it in, this 3x minus 2 equals 13, although it's the same as this first equation, if you notice, now I have the variables all to the left-hand side of the equation. Okay, there's no more on the right. So, with that in mind, let's get our numbers now all the way over to the right-hand side. So here I have a minus 2. We're going to use the same strategy. I'm going to get rid of that minus 2 on the left-hand side by adding a 2 to it. Okay? So I'm going to add a 2 over here because remember, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. And then we're just going to go ahead and add down. All right, so here I have 3x plus nothing is 3x. And then a minus 2 plus a 2 is 0. That goes away. So I have 3x equals, and then 13 plus 2 is 15. All right. So now if you notice the second step that I've taken, I have another, yet another form of the equation. Okay. And all of these forms, uh, 10x minus 2 equals 7x plus 13, this equation is the same as or equivalent as 3x minus 2 equals 13. But which one's simpler to look at? Well, clearly this version is simpler, but what's even a simpler version, okay, what's even an easier version is this next one that we wrote, 3x equals 15. You see, we keep rewriting the, the same equation over and over, uh, and we're just making it simpler. It would be like, for example, if I had this fraction, 50 over 100, and I say, hey, simplify that, you know, reduce that, and you're like, uh, okay, 25 over 50, that's simpler, right? There, it's one half. It's an easier version. I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty good. And he said, well, how about uh, 10 over 20? I said, no, that's even you know, simpler as well. I can go 4 over 8, and then finally I get to one half, okay, which is the simple list. And that's kind of the same idea here. Okay, we're just rewriting this equation, and eventually we're going to get to the very simplest form of the equation, which is going to uh, result in our answer. So, at this point, we have 3 times x equals 15. And the step here to solve for x is we want to get rid of the 3. So I'm going to divide 3x by 3. Okay, But remember, if I'm dividing on the left-hand side, I'm also going to divide on the right-hand side. So 3x divided by 3 is x, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now, this equation. This is about as simple as it gets. X equals five. That's an equation, and it's super simple. Okay, and it's equivalent to this equation. Okay, so we just keep writing the equation simpler and simpler. Finally, we get to our simplest form, and that is our solution. X equals five. Now, this uh, this problem here, you know, hopefully you learned something. Uh, uh, from it. This is what we call a two-step um, equation, but uh, equations have much more, you know, there's much more to talk about when we're talking uh, dealing with equations, and so that way you need to kind of get a full comprehensive, you know, um, 
you know, series of lessons on it in practice. So I'll leave you with this. Kind of scroll down here. GEDmathlessons.com. Um, it's a free course. It's all video based. Um, uh, done by myself, John Zerman, which is, uh, I've been teaching math. I have a degree in math and a master's degree. I'm doing this for a long, long, long time. The great thing about this site is um, we've had thousands and thousands of people um, cycle through, take the course, and just ace the, the GED. When nothing else has worked, we've had lots of folks come by. I think it's very easy to understand instruction, very comprehensive, self-paced, and, and entirely free. So please come on by, gedmathlessons.com. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope, hopefully you learned something. But to really master this, you definitely need to be, um, you know, you need to, to, to invest the time because getting, you know, uh, you know, getting your education squared away, you know, the GED or college or wherever you're going is so critical. So it's worth the investment. Okay. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.